Joe Biden is running again, believe it or not. You have a guy who can barely carry out this term. It's kind of like a runner. He's, he's having trouble finishing the race. He's gasping. You know, you're not even sure he's going to get there. And then he's like, sign me up for the next marathon. I'm ready to go. So what, what do we make of uh, this abs- well, insanity? It, and that's what it is. It's insanity. But it's insanity with a purpose because this guy wants to become president again because so many of his relatives are going to go to prison and he's not going to be able to bail them out. He's not going to be able to give them a pardon. So he has to be president. Uh, that is the only thing I can think of because this this man is. I mean, this is a really interesting theory. It is that look, as Biden's been president, uh, so he's checked the presidential box. Mm-hmm. Uh, he's uh, you know pushing eighty, or has he turned eighty already, or if, uh, either one or I, the I, other? In any mm-hmm. event, he'll be um, eighty-two right. if he runs again. In is this? Uh, and he seems to be mm-hmm. depleted and, and exhausted and a puppet. So who wants to be that? Is that something that yeah. you would relish? So you're saying, no, he has an ulterior motive. Absolutely. His whole life is catching up with him. Absolutely. His crimes are being and, you know, exposed. The interesting thing is that, you know, with, with this Blinken uh, thing and the 51 um, intelligence, intelligence officers. officers that have said that they kept the, the, the Hunter Biden laptop story out of the muse because they wanted him to win instead of Trump. Well, perhaps if if. They didn't do that if they didn't go through such great lengths to like stop the news from becoming news. He could have already pardoned him. And then we wouldn't have to put up with four years of Biden again. Right. But the fact that they have delayed things, delayed matters, um, he, Biden and his family, because I'm pretty sure that it's not just Biden wanting him to run again. It's Hunter and all the other people. Uh, they're like, hey, whoa, you're not done. Remember, if they if they indict us, if we go to prison, you got to get us out of there. You know, I mean, so, I remember the scene in The Godfather where they're talking about the fact that they're really looking forward to deploying their operations out of Cuba. Now, why? Because because uh, one of the mafiosos um, says, basically, listen, we've never had a country where we could kind of do our own thing. We would be unaccountable for our crimes. We'd be working with a friendly government. And um, and um, Michael Corleone, of course, nods and goes along. Now, Biden, of course, doesn't have, a, he deals with foreign countries, but what you're saying is it's something of the same thing. Because if the Biden regime retains hold of the United States, we become their Cuba. We become the, quote, foreign country that they can then control and their own mafia operations will never become exposed. I mean, they are getting exposed, but there's still no accountability to this day. Yeah, absolutely. And that's why I think that we as Republicans have to be very careful how we tread the water right now, because, you know, self imploding and, and, and having all these petty acrimonious division yeah we have to remember that we have to win this election in 24 or we really are done as a country i've been talking about the fact that we are on our way to be becoming venezuela but we definitely will be if we don't if we don't win this election i mean for many uh election cycles he's already acting like maduro can you imagine another four years yeah people would say this is the most important election 1996 uh, 2000 2004 But I think we can see what has happened in the country just in the last three years, a real deterioration of basic liberties, a real breakdown of our institutions, an erosion of checks and balances that previously held together at least to some degree. The media, always biased, has now gone into full Pravda or propagandistic mode. So we're in serious problems as a country. And I think you're saying the stakes are very high. The stakes are very high. But listen to this. okay? so. So basically, you know, uh, Biden's commercials and all of that, look what it says. It's essential to remind voters of what's at stake in 2024. This is coming from from them, right? Yeah. And to do so, we have to remember the issues like abortion access. So that's key. For them. Protecting our climate curbing gun control, making healthcare more affordable and making our economy work for every American. I mean, it, you know, w- listening to it, it almost sounds, oh yeah, 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 I agree. But when you look at it, when you when you dissect it, it's like, guys, this is ridiculous. You're talking about the extremism of their agenda, abortion for all nine months, 
uh, even laws that would uh, that would prevent the restriction of partial birth abortion. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the climate has just become kind of a cult, yeah. uh, and it's become highly profitable not for only, people like Al Gore. Not only that, but but some of the things that they're trying to do with the climate is going to seriously make us go back. 100, 150 years because we our grids are so messed up and they don't want, you know, they, they only want electricity, right? And if our grids can't take it, guess what? We're going to be in the dark. This is what they want. <laughs> so Debbie's talking very about forward, repealing the Industrial Revolution to a degree. Very forward thinking these progressives and, are, and you right? you've got to imagine people in India and China, these other countries coming up, just laughing at the nonsense that they hear out of the Europeans and the Americans. And they're like, if you guys want to destroy yourselves, go right ahead. We're trying to come up in the world and our relative statuses are only going to improve as yours goes down. <laughs> <laughs>